Hey, it's Kelly with your A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. More than $57 million is being directed by Virginia Tech to farmers in Virginia, Arkansas, Minnesota, and North Dakota to help them with climate-smart agricultural efforts. The U.S. military's response to the Hamas attack on Israel includes deploying the Norfolk-based USS Gerald R-4 carrier strike group to the eastern Mediterranean. Spotsylvania School Superintendent Mark Taylor has taken 23 additional books out of high school libraries. The school system cited code that allows for the removal of books that contain sexually explicit content. Three specialties at the University of Virginia Medical Center are ranked among the top in the world, according to new rankings by Newsweek. The UVA programs are neurosurgery, oncology, and cardiology. Production problems have hampered delivery of new airline jets in the third quarter for Arlington-based Boeing. Deliveries total 105 planes, down from 112 in the same period last year. Documents filed in the Virginia court show the company that owns the salvage rights to the Titanic shipwreck has ended plans to retrieve more artifacts from the site because the leader of the expedition died in the Titan submersible implosion. That's it for this week's A1 Minute Week in Review presented by Plumber Near Me. Make sure you pick up a copy of this Sunday's paper for a more detailed recap of news from across the state.